Nurhan Musa, um, today I'm here as a speaker uh, in the panel for uh, the construction loan legalities. Today is very important because this is one of the most important um, conferences or summit that, gov uh, that covers a very important industry in Egypt. Um, so how important is those kinds of summit to be held? Actually, um, any summit held for any different industries is very important, especially for lawyers, legislators, and pr practitioners. And this is in the common sense to know the updates in the industries and also to share the updates in the legal, in the laws and regulations and to know what's uh, going on around us to be able to um, apply laws right and also to uh, be able to introduce to the non-lawyers or non-practitioners uh, what exactly law is and how it governs this. Um, can you give us some insights for um, the construction lawyer and legalities? Uh, actually, to the construction law, we have like the unified law uh, number 119 uh, of 2008 and its executive regulations. Also, we have uh, the compensation uh, laws that uh, has been introduced on 2017. Um, and this is because of the pressure of the prices and the currency uh, devalu devaluation and the exchange in, in the market and the prices. Also, uh, I will cover something related to the reconciliation laws that has been introduced a couple of days in the parliament uh, which is very important regarding the breaches and the violation of uh, some buildings. Uh, is FedEx important to lawyers to know about? FedEx is important to lawyers, FedEx is important to engineers and to practitioners in the construction and in the in, in this industry overall. And I see like from my point of view that FedEx is much more important to lawyers and to the contractor, um, uh, contractor uh, management and to the people who are working on contracts. So I urge even the uh, lawyers and the practitioners, even the seniors or juniors to know more about FedEx, to know more about the four books and the uh, regulations uh, on that sense and the contract because it's uh, it, it give us the understanding of the industry at the same time it give us the uh, scenarios for risk and I think like it's it's much important to lawyers to know more about this uh, FedEx and how we can draft contracts and the international standard there it's very important to lawyers and practitioners to attend uh, different types of uh, conferences and summits for their work even if they are in-house lawyers or counsel it's very important to know how they can serve the uh, their uh, companies their entities uh, to be able to understand the nature of the industries for example like uh, for today that we are talking about like building materials and construction so it's very important to lawyers who are working on this field to know more about uh, the industry for from different perspective, from marketing perspective, business perspective, even human resources perspective. Um, at the same time, it's very important to know uh, how we can draft contracts, how we can uh, uh, do in client interviewing regarding this industry, how we can convince our client, how we can provide the uh, benefit to our clients and less uh, of uh, risk to them, as well as drafting contracts on the sense of understanding the nature of uh, the industries as well as like for example if we give for technology summits and um, uh, uh, conferences we do understand this is very important as well because the nature is different as well and finally give us insights regarding the draft law uh, now in the parliament uh, to 
uh, I can say like a couple of days we have uh, um, negotiations and we have uh, debate regarding the reconciliation law for um, um, uh, breaching or for uh, uh, legalized uh, the breaches and the violation happened in the construction uh, and I think this is gonna gonna be a temp uh, law uh, which will uh, try to uh, reassess and re-evaluation uh, some of the breaches and uh, um, the problems that arise in the upcoming uh, in the um, couple of years regarding the constructions and which is uh, with no planning uh, uh, out of the urban planning uh, which is also um, getting more floors and so on so I think this uh, considered to be one of the debating drafting laws that uh, focused on what exactly uh, contractors and owners can legalize their status in the market and also has another uh, perspective social uh, just as well because you know there are some people who are um, living in in apartments or in buildings which already uh, made uh, by mistake or made out of planning uh, made uh, uh, um, in uh, breaching of the license and so on so I think it's kind of they can compensate uh, with a specific uh, scale of uh, fines um, and this is uh, those uh, money will go for the infrastructure as well which is very important that our government working on the infrastructure and this is also will enhance the, uh, the construction uh, uh, industry overall Egypt which we consider that the state uh, see it's one of the pillars on in the economic growth as well as like it's a key pillar uh, it's uh, 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 one of the industries that we are uh, depend on our growth and as we see like on 2016, 2017, the first three quarters there, the growth in this industry was um, about 7.3 and the investment in this field is so much. Uh, I'm very pleased that I found Law TV here today as I follow what exactly your uh, outstanding work where I find that you are very care and eager to uh, uh, to have your presence in all the uh, events and all the industries and I can see like uh, how important your role is and um, it's very important to us actually to find a platform uh, like yours so um, I'm very happy with your presence and I would like to see a uh, lot of uh, much more in every single uh, act and event in Egypt and also for the MENA region and um, I wish you all success. Thank you so much.